This lecture, which is 18 in a series, has, in fact, from the inception to date, has caused a lot of guests and ulamas around the country. It is an avenue for Muslim Ummah to discuss on issues of national interest and, of course, as it affects the religion of Islam. Secondly, the topic of today is um, a very good and well thought you know, topic chosen by the organizers, which I believe will certainly go a long way in addressing some of the challenges we have in our society. And uh, I've seen some books being shared you know, around, and uh, I think that says everything about family life and family ties. Uh, so with this, I'd like to um, encourage all the participants here uh, to please listen attentively to the speakers, which I believe they will do justice you know, to what is uh, going to be said here today, or what assembled us here today, you know, to listen to them. In fact, this paper, as we can see from the above mentioned title, that is uh, the family dynamics, right and obligation from Islamic perspective, which I translated to Arabic language as Dinamiyat al Usra, or Dinamiyat al Aila, al Hukuk, wal Wajibat, min al Mamdur al Islam. So, this is a very important topic. And it is a topic that is neglected by many scholars. Or oh, many scholars do not see it as important. But it is very important because we can't achieve any good in this nation without a solid family. We all need to re-evaluate our priorities and embrace our profound importance of family in Islam striving to strengthen this sacred ties and building a legacy of love for the generations to sustain the ideal society that we deserve. For us in Voice of Nigeria, we will continue to promote good narratives about our country and its diverse people. To do this, Voice of Nigeria will be deliberate, unapologetic, authentic and focused so as to counter misinformation, disinformation, misrepresentations, fake news, hate speech and immorality, particularly on social media platforms. My brothers and sisters, I bring you the greetings of President Bola Ahmed Chidubu. He has asked me to extend his Ramadan greetings to all of you. And he has also asked me to tell you that uh, he knows where it pinches. And he has also asked me to tell you that he's also doing everything possible to ensure that whatever we go through now as a nation is working tirelessly to ensure that our country becomes great once again.